Hi, this is Sharon Pope. I'm the Love and Relationship Coach for Women Who Want More. It was about six months ago that my coach, Angela Loria, gave me a challenge. She said, Sharon, it is time for you to pour more love into your business. Now, I didn't really know what that meant. What do you mean, pour more love into my business? And she said, so what are you doing when you are loving on your clients and loving on your community and spreading more love and light in the world? And I said, well, I'm writing. Great. Go write. I was like, okay. Um, I can do that. I love to write. And she said, and I want you to when you're writing i want you to think about a much much broader audience than who you've been thinking about previously because the world needs more of your message and right now it's not broad enough no more playing small you got to be willing to put your neck out there and submit to some of the big boys <laughs> and be willing to hear no so i did what i usually do which i would take some time and create a plan you know, I was like, here's the topic I'm going to write about and here's who I'm going to submit it to and here's their submitting qualifications and I put together this whole plan. A week later, I hadn't written a word yet, which means I hadn't helped a soul yet. So a week later, I kind of called myself on the carpet. I'm like, you know what? I was given this challenge a week ago and I have not put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard, whatever the case may be. And I was like, I'm not going to back down from this challenge. I'm going to do this. And I did it. And I submitted an article to the New York Times. And now, this morning, I wake up to my article being featured in the modern love column of the New York Times. <laughs> I have chills. Look, I have chills just saying it like that's amazing and where it started from was Sharon it's time to pour a little bit more love into your business so now I'm getting calls from amazing people beautiful people people who I don't even know some of them and saying that my article really spoke to them and they appreciated my vulnerability and they appreciated me sharing my story and that's the point of all this. That's the point of why we do the work that we do. And it is, of course, to spread more love and light in the planet. It is also, though, to change lives, to give people something to think about or to give them a tool, something that they didn't know before, because there is nothing more complex and sometimes problematic on this planet than our relationships. And nobody taught us how to do this. So I am thrilled that, um, that I was published in the New York Times. Um, I am proud of that accomplishment. But more importantly, I'm excited about all the people that it's gonna reach, all the women who it's gonna speak to, and maybe, it's going to impact their marriages, their most important and most intimate relationships. And if that can happen, that's the dream. So today I am chilling and I'm celebrating and I would love to have you celebrate with me. Um, and right now I'm doing my darndest to open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so the last thing that I want to ask you is what is it in your life right now that you could pour a little bit more love into? Because you don't know what six months from now can look like if you pour that love into it today. Cheers, thank you, and until next time, be well. <laughs>